to Try be a good pickup. So take a minute now and let us know who you think has the inside track for this one. Tweet at, at LOL Esports with either the hashtag C9Win or the hashtag NMEWin. We're gonna, it's good, good play here coming in to week eight. Interesting champion picks as we make our way to five for nothing. And bottom lane pressure going to balls here. Let's see if players can make anything happen. It makes his way back down the fight in the mid lane. Inox, very low. Trashy hovering on the side. He's got to know this is a trick by now. Nobody would stay there like that, but High was coming in as well. The double bait. And now they can bully him. He's even oh, oh, the flash from Incarnation! The, char the orb comes back and misses. Able to pick up the kill from a Foxfire. High is going to go down eventually. Incarnation stays alive as Flares does not fully come down. He stays in the tri brush. They're still going for top lane. Pops the Ventral Maelstrom and they take down Sneaky. Now the teleport from Balls. Oh. What an equalizer across the entire team in the tri choke point. They're going to get Otter too here if they can hit the Harpoon. Overheating by Balls. He's going to need that to keep Incarnation going. Incarnation could come up too. There's the rotation as you say it. Incarnation starts to move. Ball's very low. A few more auto attacks. Lemon Nation doing what he can to keep him there. Incarnation now set to pick up a few kills for himself. Lemon Nation a few last hits. This one is going the long haul. Flares under the turret. A charm over. It doesn't hit from Incarnation. No assist. The kill goes over to Balls. What a fight across the board. A bloodbath rib. Everybody going down in the top lane. And because it's a triple kill. <laughs> All right. Oh boy, the hat trick and wards could cost Lemon Nation his life. Oh, the Glacial Fisher goes back. Just the end actually hits Alistar. Flash over from Trashy. Good alt for Flash there. It'll work out in the end. They're going to get some aggro onto the Dragon area now. A little overheat here by Balls. Doesn't look like he's winning this one straight up. On the side for Flares, there's the Rumble ultimate going down. Flares very low, is going to try to get through the minions. Grapevine can't do it. Goes down right in the middle of the pack. A turret going down in the mid lane as well. This is going to create forward wards and more pressure. Guys, Merc Trid points. And Ball's definitely taking advantage here. I think he left alone oh. under the turret, though. Goes down very quickly. High's looking to collapse. There's Balls once again. No oh. ultimate, though. He is everywhere right now. You can see High just coming down from the river. A little bit of a fight between Incarnation and Inox, making sure Inox can't come all the way down. He's doing his own thing in a 1v1. Mission Impossible oh, here. He oh, he goes for the flash. That's going to be the ultimate as well. Islander goes down, and it's going to give Inox enough time to get away. Some champions, yeah. not quite as much. All right, well, more action. Flair's going to get stunned up with the bra passive. After this, got a Satan question. Remind me. We'll hit it. Flair's looks like he could be going down. He just got oh, back indeed. to lane. His teleport's down from just coming back. And now he's back in the ground. Very unfortunate situation to come a, for that become a Sated Devourer. Well, it all depends on Dragon's Rib. Enemy looking to take <laughs> the first Dragon off the field right now. Rumble Ultimate, beautiful once again. Trashy almost dies to it. Oh, he is going to die. The Dragon protecting his gold. High goes in. Looks like he's going to go down very fast. A little overzealous in this fight from Cloud9. Maybe they thought they were a bit too powerful that a lot of that armor, or damage rather, mitigated by Body Drop's ultimate to stay in the fight. For this turn? Yeah. Uh, because now they can actually slow Inox. There's the All mini right. wave down. Balls is actually anyway. looking for a lot of turret damage right away. Oh, They're the going to get the teleport okay. in the last minion to keep it alive. Trashy's still the tank, though. Somebody could definitely come up to get a kill on this one, but they get each other in and out nicely. Too much of a gap on the map, and Cloud9 is serving the same thing on the bot lane. Yeah, moving up. Maybe High was just pushing up for a counter gank and they expected Evelyn up there. Now they see Evelyn down bottom though and they teleport to answer. Oh, teleport to the ghost. I like it for Balls trying to get in sneakily, but he is the first focus oh, here. He Andrew. does actually have Merc Treads along with his Leandries. The crowd control not keeping Balls down for that long. Able to quickly move and big kills coming up from Sneaky now with the extra damage. Incarnation onto Otter. Gets the rush, misses the, or the missile coming out of Otter there. The dodge Back is above. coming in left and right. Gets the heal on. He's not going to go down. One last hit from a Foxfire and an auto attack. Finally gets the shutdown. As you can see on Otter, the sword shoved into the ground there between the... The Sated Devourer, oh, Shivana with Blade of the Rune King, annihilates Oh, Baron, boy. As well as Dragon. Winter's Bite actually hits Inox. It forces the fight. High is going to go down very fast. This could be bad for Cloud9. Fate's Call pulls out, pulls out Lemon Nation. They're back onto Inox. He gets out with a sliver of health. And that's pretty much the story for all of Enemy as Cloud9 now has the trifecta on the back line, still delivering damage. Sneaky Incarnation and Lemon staying alive through the fight and able to push off Enemy out of Dragon area. Yeah.
Flares using that TP. The rest of Cloud9 is going to know it. High actually. Oh the Incarnation in a good position to get into this. He dies right into the middle. Flares is able to lock him down. Incarnation may be a bad decision here. The Ignite's on. He's going to stay alive. And body drops going down. Three members now down for enemy as Cloud9 is just able to figure out the fight that much faster. Get an opening from Cloud9. Yep. That's an opening for C9 to go in from the side. An equalizer doesn't hit too many. Do they have flares enough to take him down? A lot of slows on slows that can come from Cloud9. Inox trying to go into the fight on a sneaky. He's just not big enough yet throughout the game to take him down. Also, the peel from the rest of the team and Cloud9 are just on point right now. Incarnation, a bit of a <laughs> frown as Trashy walks yeah. away. Cannot take it. Minions will finish it for him, though. Minion. No, he's going to live. He's got 16 HP. Elimination with the Winter's Dodge it. Misses. It's out. Put oh, the shield Lemon. up for the movement speed, but he can't get in. Lemon. To hit Trashy. An unfortunate situation, but the victory <laughs> still comes on the end of that. It's going to be all right for the Cloud9 fans. 28-20 on the clock. And 20 to 10 in kills. Definitely a bloodbath we had here to start off week eight. Cloud nine take down enemy. Back to back victories for Cloud nine. Time for you at home, however, to weigh in on this match. Tweet at LOL Esports with the hashtag TIP win or the hashtag TSM win. We'll mash your vote with all the others and update the fan polling just a bit as usual. A lot of TSM chance coming into this matchup. A lot of eyes are going to be on Rush. A lot of eyes on Santorin as well. The pick and ban phase, something that people are looking at well, from TSM. He's able to break the freeze by drawing out the teleport with a play down bottom uh, and then answering it with one of his own. But it looks like Impulse want to go for that dive. Oh, boy. They're getting their fight that they want. Six and a half minutes in. They start the first one. First blood going on to Wild Turtle. Impact gets out. Making a good one that with the rest of the team. First kill goes to him. <laughs> yeah, let's see if this uh, Gragas movement up top will result in any action. Because Bjergsen is itching to use his teleport. Oh, John Shaw wants to scratch that itch for you. Wow, that was a great play by him. The combo almost taking down Bjergsen while Turtle flashing forward. The Valk! Turtle goes hard on this one. The rest of the team has the chance to follow, but they were knocked up by the Howling Gale. Turtle being too far forward, using all of his escapes to enter, gets himself killed. Shao Wei Shao now, remember the ultimate's down, but Rush has the gap closed. The double kill coming in for the Poke Apollo. Now Santorin could be the one going down, and it all looks so good, but it all is so wrong now. You've activated the impulse trap card, TSM, <laughs> and Dyrus is going to pay oh, for it as well. Dyrus as well. Three members of Impulse coming up. This kills the Shen. And actually, he might get out. This does not kill the Shen. Rush leaping forward for a last kill. They know the boundaries of their champion. Uh -oh. Bjergsen coming in. There's still a heal that can come out from Rush here to give himself a save. Pick a card is up. Gate is up. They could be going back on to Bjergsen now. It's a 4v1. He's able to peel off stage left and get himself out of a bad situation. Because of the lane swap, Solo lane. That's a good point. Shen actually yeah. under level for that Kogma, and he does not want that fight. Oh, wow. They, that's a lot of want oh, for one man, kill. They that's really a lot want of it. want for one kill. Impact's going to try to turn into the fight. Is the rest of the team? No, they're not. It's going to be bottom tier turret here. Shao Shao's got pressure, but yeah, a bit of a base race. Turret race, at least. That you just said it. Is that what it's called? The Polycom Ring? <laughs> I feel like it has a cooler Again, name. Impact, the one that gets hit. One ultimate. Is there another one to come in? He's going to TP out. Not actually going to be able to make it there with a bit of getting jostled around. And uh, uh, it's, however, going to give them a run for their money. All right, so it's not just the spider Dragon, ring. though, going to be a little bit less scary for the team to start up. And let's play flashes. Impact can't get hit up that many times. He is again the focus. They take the tank down. Looking at the rest of the team, that's a very squishy impulse. And they can start dying to this TSM team They're now. Cornered. They are jockeying back and forth position. And they still Bjergsen. chasing them. They, they want to hunt him Bjergsen. down. Oh, boy. That's all that's on the menu. Minion line just coming in to favor Bjergsen on that one. Rush takes damage. They're going to be able to take down Burger King. But now the push is in the mid lane, dictated by Team Solo Mid. And they do have a minion wave this, which means TSM is starting to retreat from the fight. The initial engage did not go the way they, they wanted. Restart they restart it. They are going to restart it. They haven't stopped since they've been trying, Kobe. Santorin now trying to get in. He gets hit. That's vision of the entire TSM team, along with some wards. Impact being the one to still hit. Righteous Glory goes off. He's on to Pearson. A big hit. This oh. goes down. 
and he actually dodges out a lot of damage. Bjergsen now free with a low mana bar, though. Can he provide what the team needs? Back onto him. That's the only eyes that Impulse had was that priority target. Rush. Oh! Wild Turtle dives into the fight. This team had no chance of saving him, and Impulse has been waiting for this, chopping at the bit. Now for 36 minutes on the Baron team. All right, Apollo and crew looking oh to finish it gosh. off as they melt Dyrus. Huge chunks onto the tankiest person right now coming out of Team Solo Mid. Dyrus is forced back to the base. There are home guards, home guards on the member of Team Solo Mid right now, but it doesn't look like they're doing much. Uh -oh. The Sombrero coming out from uh, Xiao Wei Xiao as he throws it out just for a bit of a highlight play. And they're going to be on to the Nexus turret. They see they don't even need the Shockwave right now with the strength they're putting out and the way they are able to take these fights. Wild Turtle doing what he can for a few last bits of damage. Lust Boy as well to try his hand at the fight. 12 to 4, 39 minutes in. Bjergsen goes down on the fountain. That's an ace on TSM as Team Impulse takes down TSM. For this matchup by tweeting hashtag CLG win or hashtag TL win. And we will see which way you think this, the wind is blowing once we hit the rift. We're about to be on it. Good okay. matchups coming from both sides. There were bans against the junglers, bans against the mid laners, and the teams now ready to face off against each other. We're going to be on the rift in just a second. It's Counterlogic Gaming versus Team Liquid. And these guys are on the rift. Trying to kind of flex his muscles and say, I got someone coming. And he does. He's right. Oh, yeah. Just a little ways off. And it may be oh, too little, yeah. too late. Quas gets hit. Zion Spartan under the turret's definitely going to go down for his troubles. But he is able to pick up first blood in the game. That next goes over to dominate with an assist. The big and picture is really coming into play now that, of what that happened. Then by the time he was able to get to the lane, he's already behind. Oh, he's only going to have a shield. No monsoon. The Howling Gale does come out. That's about all that Special can offer as he hightails it out of there. Unfortunate playing in a false sense of security actually costs Kwas's life. Dominating the rest of the team, pressuring onto Dragon here. We haven't had any movement yet yeah. from that top lane horse. So, oh boy. Well, that's their super. I oh. wouldn't want to be in the Dragon Pit alone by myself right now. Jeez. Team Liquid, I heard you need a little help in this game with Quas being so hurt. Dragon's got your back. On their way out of this one, probably Team Liquid would be one of those teams on that list. It's going to be Dominate taking a bit of early damage here. A lot traded back to Xmithy. Kind of the out and in here would be Team Liquid's best chance. They go out, they try to go in. Is it enough? Phoenix gets bounced back. A lot of control coming from that Afro Moo. And Phoenix goes down. The Monsoon gave a bit of health back to Team Liquid, and they're able to stay pretty healthy in the fight. Piglet going to be able to get another kill coming up for the team. Actually, that was over onto Afro Moo. He's a bit to pressure this, but there's still a bit of range here to be used by double lift he's getting in some Hobelter. Hobelter very very low arcane shifts to the backside double lift now gets popped up gets the chance Quas got it before the monsoon hits it they take down pole belter quas finally gets that all they've been looking for his ignite kill pressure is still up along with its specials this could still be a very big fight big one readied up now After for pressuring on to baron oh Man, Zion is in a dangerous spot. Wall, Piglet follows. Piglet's going to be able to chase. The, uh, no red buffs are attacking just yet. Dominate tunnels past to get the smite on. It's going to be a long chase, and I think they might want to give up on this one because here comes the rest of Counter Logic Gaming. Quas is going to follow through, but it's for the exit. Dominate getting his tunnel game on. He's ready to go over. They don't have too much vision actually into that Baron pit right now. Everything's been cleared out. Okay, top side wasn't. 3,000 HP. Piglet, can he do it again? Wall. Is it going to happen? Piglet also there as well. It goes over to Six Smithy. They're going to be able to lock that one down. Piglet now getting hit up. Double lift crushes him. And the back and forth game of Baron is what cost the fight. Finally, Not 37 today. minutes. In. Not today, Piglet. Dominate and Piglet can't combine for the steal. They sacrifice their lives and mid turret for the attempt at the steal. And Team Liquid's base is forfeit. Wow. 20 seconds on the clock here for Dominate at least. Quas, Janna, or rather Hecro Majana now providing much wave clear. The Monsoon does what it can, but you have a Tristana on the Nexus turrets. And it's going to be taken down quite fast. The Triforce as well as Zion Spartan Counter Logic Gaming taking down Team Liquid and definitely showing a true change in the slump for their midseason. CLG take down Team Liquid.
the teams load onto the rift, share your thoughts and share your game spoilers with us. Tweet at Elevel Esports. Let us know whether it's going to be hashtag GV win or hashtag DIG win to take this game down. I'll be the picks to your Lulu heart. I love that. Thank you guys so much. We're here into the game. Gravity versus Team Dignitas. Or take the bottom turret to match, but because all four were pretty much Careful. shown. Keen. Oh, gonna run left, but the bottom. charm's gonna land. Shifter level two, the flay in there as well. That's easily first blood. I'm not sure why he flashed, but oh, hold on. He makes Kiwi Kid flash away. Well, he, Kiwi Kid didn't want to take the kill. You. Yeah, all right. Yeah. Two flashes then. Because Keen flashed away, I can't. They just rotated four people up to the lane that is frozen uh, for not much good. Like, yes, they did invade the jungle, but it just opens up the jungle on the backside. That's, yeah. it's a conflict-free move, and you generally don't need to support that guy. Oh, and it opens you up again for some exploitation in the mid lane. Nice teleport. <laughs> TP in from Shen, and literally nothing happens to anybody here. Dignitas is able to walk away from under the turret. No one pulled aggro, but Keen actually charmed up. Low on health and not level six. Equal would have been big. The oh. flash Q shifter is flashless and not level six. So Kiwi can now also get jumped on. He has no escapes either. And a trade kill comes back through. Nice one for Hanser. Gravity running away, good kill. And that means well, game on. probably dead. That's exactly what Moob needs to do. Ulti, Shenult as well. Braum shield just, just because. And there you go, Hanser gets the kill. Nice pickup right there. No real defense at all and no wards. Absolutely. And as I say that, this happens. Good flash, good knockout, good everything actually. Shifter though, missing the charm, but the second FQ should be enough. Gets the kill indeed. Both deaths keen. That has died fewer times than him. And now Altec also has a good start. So that could be the decider in this game as we go for the next dragon. We're seeing a whole lot of damage come out though. This dive could come around. Second dragon picked up. Kimiki taking a whole bunch of pain, but the target switched over. Move just gets evaporated for that one. And we're going to see the chase continue as Hanser does manage to knock down Kimiki. But Gamsu, whoa! Massive Gnar ultimate right across the bow is the REQ. And this could be the exact fight Dignitas wanted. A quadra? A quadra kill for Shifter. Red buff is on. Charms up. Good flash by Altec with the flash. Q, He's got the a pentakill for Shifter! A 14 minute pentakill for Shifter, and now all seven of Team Dignitas' kills. What just happened right there? Went through and through because of the true damage. Magic penetration is slightly deprioritized on Ari, and they're going for Ari. The hard dive by Shen, but Move gets blown up. The Warrior Vi is not tanky enough, and another Q comes through. Gamsu gets the kill. Unfortunately for Shifter, he's got assists now, but still 100% kill participation. And try to sneak it that way, but they're tracked here. Yeah. Bottom getting pushed, and there's no TP for Gamsu, so Hanser is not able to be equated with this yeah, one. Yeah, Move has got to be so careful. Why are you walking into this brush? Move gets blown up. There's no one here to help him. Buddy Fubu forced to run away as well. Dignitas pull up the Baron sneak yeah. that they couldn't have sneaked in the we first We get a bit by himself. Going to jump right onto him. He took the long road. The rest of the team took the short one. That's a really big misplay again. Very interesting. Nar holding the mid lane. Gravity could theoretically try to shove in and press for You're just waiting inhibitor. for something to land, whether it be a hook or a charm. And well, Gravity, oh, that's going to be a Meganar. Hook hits Hanser. Meganar is there. Bunny Fufu in the front line as well. Hanser taking so much damage. And the Shen dies at the very beginning. Core JJ, the first kill. Meganar puts him back in the of the team. But oh, Altec gets one. And he's now found Gamsu as well. Altec to be the major carry. Jumps in, tries to get a kill. Can't quite do the damage. It's only a one Gravity for one. Can pile damage down onto him. Now they're going for a very aggressive Baron play. Maybe Altec oh! just wants a kill. A bad flash record today gets exploded, but into the back line comes Gamsu. He's already knocked down one as Bunny Fufu falls with the help from Baron. Gravity should be completely safe in taking this fight as long as they don't miss the smite. Your Helios wants to be around. Here's Kiwi Kid. Here's Ooh. the attempt. Good smite by Move, and they're going to catch Helios. The overaggression. He wanted Dragon 5, but died for it. Map control to Gravity. That might even mean Baron. It's going to yeah. land onto the tank, which is not the biggest threat here. Half HP Lot still on Bunny Fufu, and Gravity turned back onto Baron. Half health on that. Move's smite is up. Kiwi Kid hook misses this time around. He's going to block enough damage. Baron Nasher picked up. Bunny stays alive. Dignitas not stopping it. But Gamsu's here with Mega Nar. Hanser not going to get stunned. Going to go They're for the taunt. For and Equalizer's massive move in the front line. And there's Altec on the side. Knocks him into the team. And in comes Helios. The cavalry has arrived. Shifter does not land the damage on a bunny Fufu. And move will get picked up. But not before Shen gets the ulti in. Is it going to be enough? Because Core JJ will get the kills after all. Bunny's still taking the front line. But Altec is running out of front one line. Kill. He can't quite get it. And it's going to be gravity forced away with two deaths. And then Keen 
just because Rumble has such efficient items on this patch with Leandris, he is somewhat matching Shifter's impact. Oh, hold on, not right. matching that very well. Oh, the Finnick kill before it can ulti. It's going to be a trade back. Those Helios does die. They stun. The knockup from Bunny means almost nothing. Gamsu is Mega Nar ready in the top side. Ponser overextends, gets hooked in, gets chunked out, gets killed off. Core JJ is a massive AD carry right now. And now Dignitas on the chase. The flash, the slowdown, the stun's going to land. Bunny Fufu going to be the next kill, most likely. Shields himself, tries to run, can't go far enough. Oh, he's going to just barely get out, but the rocket is still coming. The kill's going to come through. Gansu gets the third kill. The fight, a three for one to Dignitas. Yeah, and a ping goes down to the inhibitor right away. Keen with a very lead. He's a full item or two ahead of the rumble. Oh, the stolen comes in from move, and the battle's begun. Bunny in the front line stops the REQ. A bunch of bursts come through. Equalizer towards the front line. Helios at half. Looks for Altec. Misses the charm, though, and damage keeps coming through. Helios one hit from getting stunned. The stun now lands, and Altec gets some damage, forcing the flash away. Inside track on mid lane. Dignitas have to recall. Really, Gravity wants to just hold out a little bit longer. They do not want Gomsu to be able to Meganar them right now. As soon as they see that Minionar, maybe we see there Gravity go. And Helios was still on the Baron. And he's at half. Bunny Poo Poo tanks the charm, takes a bunch of damage. Shifter cannot quite find the way in. Now he's going to look for a force of the flash. And there's Equalizer. The box comes up. Hotzer taunts up Gamsu. The Vi comes in as well. They will knock down Nar. No! He walks away. Yes, the charge gets him. Mid and Hib is dead. The minions took that down. But the chase continues. Altec wants in. He's not going to find it. A one for a zero. But the base is getting attacked from Gravity. This is so tense right now. The Baron minions are providing pressure, but Gravity does not want to withstand this Baron. They know they have a death timer that they want to exploit. Maybe we see yet another smite war, or maybe Dignitas fights before it's a possibility. The health bars are low. Bunny Poo Poo at 800 health, now 300. Hogs are on the front line, move there as well. They're gonna get the first kill. That's a reset in the flash from Keen. They get Helios. One trade it back, though. Core JJ is still a big threat. It's a one for two in the aftermath of that one, but they've got a recall to defend their base. The turrets are taking damage. Top it, top makes the turret down below half. Yeah, turrets are safe. Any of those things going to Dignitas could spell doom for them. They start off before one becomes a problem. There is low vision. Core JJ tried his best to stop it. There are still death timers on Team Dignitas. Megan is best pick the depression. The TP comes in for Hanser. The smite gonna come through and easily picked up. That goes Baron number two to gravity, and they've caught Gamsu, who TP'd in the top side by himself and gets picked off for a very greedy teleport. How many home guard boots can they move? Altec tried to push the mid wave. He's on his way, but this time Korja J is there to try and blow this down. Move, he's gonna have to pull off a miracle. Smite, Smite again. He's in so early. He's in early, but this is burst. He's going again! Yeah. Move again! Stops the dragon five. He will die. Hanser did ult, but it got canceled via the death. There's a 30 second window where Gams who's alive and move is not, but I don't know if Dick could do much about that. Nothing. Oh, the hook hits Bunny Foo Foo, though. That's going to be the way in. And Bunny gets dropped at the very start. Can't even put out of Unbreakable. Out goes Gravity. Out they run. But Gamsu oh. pulls one back in. And goodbye, Hanser. It's a tanky Shen, but not tanky enough. Move chooses to go in, and he buys time. Altec picks up a kill. Stun comes through. Shifter comes in. Look for Altec. Does a ton of damage. And the chase down comes in. Team Dignitas ace Gravity. They get the hook. They break the tank line before Team Dignitas before Gravity can set up, and they just get that huge, huge win. Shifter then provided threat immediately on Altec. That's what he needed to do in this game. 55 minutes in after having two fifth dragons smote away from them, they may finally be taking down the number one team in the LCS. Uh, I think it's gonna happen right now, Jat. Such long respawn timers and plenty of durable tanks in the front line. Inhibitor into turret, into turret, into Nexus. Dignitas, I think, for sure have done it here. From sixth place, they had fallen so far. They they used to be the league leaders. They used to beat the top teams. This time around, maybe Dignitas back on an upswing. They take down the number one team in the North American LCS, and Dignitas getting in shape just in time for playoffs. What an absurd game this was, Freak. That is a monstrous win for Team Dignitas as well. It was seeming more and more like Team Dignitas was going to be locked into that sixth seed. They had the worst record of the top six teams coming in and the most difficult schedule in their next four Theoretically could swap places for auto-relegation. We'll see if TDK can make that climb. But guys at home, head over to Twitter to tell us who you think will prevail in this game. Tweet hashtag TDK win or hashtag T8 win to at LL Esports. Let us know how you think this one's going to go. It's going to be a very important match. Your standings very much in the minds of both these teams. Team comps on your screen. Lights now. And we're going to get ourselves into the game. Team Dragon Knights versus Team 8. Keep in mind, it's still a teleport disadvantage, so a risk for teammate. There's always a chance. Rumble 
ends your team fight. Smite's coming through. There's the engage. Rumble's coming in from across the wall. Teammate stuck in a 4v5. A pretty good equalizer, but Forbes is going to jump away. And no, the first blood comes through. The rest of the teammate able to flash out. And the, oh, just barely. Emperor trades one back. Still, though, first blood the teammate. And Maokai's still pushing. Yeah, 800 health and 600 health. Teammates, the one that is a little bit lower. Oh. And they think about initiation. And Here's the odd number fight. Pulverize, and it was a overheated Seraph who didn't have an ulti anyway, so a nice pick up there. The engage did land. Kelly was able to run. Dodo able to run as well, and more poke from the marksman. Emperor wants in. No crit. Oh! Shock oh, that land, man. though. Let's see if that happens. Pushing on in, 1,400 gold lead. Teammate once again looking to knock this turret down. They have to give some respect to the counter engage yeah. of TDK, but keep in mind that is a very soft engage. And oh my god, Emperor, too far up, gets caught out. Porpoise finds the team. They go in and knock down Seraph. A terrible equalizer and a double kill for Nian. Mid lane outer goes down as well. And now another teleport onto a turret. He's gonna need backup. He's there by himself, chunked incredibly low, 800 health left on Caligals, pulls a summoner heal in, and Dodo, now of course running without the ulti kill, goes to Emperor, the resets are in. If Emperor is gonna jump forward, it would be about now. But he knocks down Porpus, gets the jump in, goes right backwards. I was talking a little bit before the game about how TDK is out of sync since the new members. That was a perfect example of that. Now, teammate, this is a dangerous play if they get spotted out. Also because Emperor is off on a split push, so TDK wants to stall, but it's hard because they have no rubble up. This could be a Baron for teammate. They had butted him out. The Baron cost. gets picked up. Really nicely done. Teammate look for the objective, and they get that one. Explosive cast pulls the team in. They catch out Smoothie. That's a kill picked up, but the inhibitor nearly dead. Kez does not get away from the Rockets, and the end grabs that kill. So inhibitor in shambles, but a 5v3 with a Baron buff for teammate to answer. Dragon number three for each of these teams. They've both been picked up sort of off oh, of interesting Emperor. choice. The Emperor really low on health. Kelly Trolls wants him and gets knocked back into the team. Golden Glue stuck on an equalizer, forced to flash away. He is no longer in this battle. Call to 4v5. Emperor versus Kelly Trolls. They can't quite hit him. He jumps away to safe, but here comes the cleanup as Golden Glue rejoins the battle. And it's a cleanup crew for Team 8. Four kills picked up for one. Whoa, and it was all about Emperor getting caught. They can walk the, the instant they got hit by a scrying orb, they started Baron instead of falling out of the pit. So they are really forcing something big here. Smoothie very low. Have HP in the back line. A lot of roots. Ninja the caught up. The has flash uses it. Equalizer chunks the bottom line. Golden Blue running away. Caught up by Seraph. He's going to still knock down Ninja first. Trade it back and Kez is on the run. It's still a one for one. Smoothie though caught up. Looks to be an easy kill. Seraph looking for more people to kill though. Nian on the backside. Half HP. Still getting hit up. Forced the Valkyrie out. Kez and Emperor looking for more. Oh! The flash from Kelly Trolls just barely keeps him up. The pulverize of Jodo is a very angry cow. Emperor cannot find the target. Seraph can, though, try to knock down Alistair. Get some Kez now on the chase, but Nienna's already knocked down Smoothie. He rejoins the fight. Kez is low, so is Seraph. TP re-engaged for Cali Trolls means a bad thing for TDK. Kez rooted up, knocked down, and ace for teammate. What a crazy fight, and Cali Trolls, because he escaped with just a sliver of health, finally uses that home guard teleport to and the kills are close, but there's... I haven't finished my research, so I don't want to talk about it yet. <laughs> Sorry, chat. I brought the spoiler up, but still, it's teammate looking maybe pretty happy. Actually, a good equalizer. Buys a lot of time, but Kez in the flank gets evaporated. He went in too soon, and the teammate frontline holds steady. Ninja trapped up, getting shut down pretty hard. A two for one so far as Kelly Trolls did die, but it's still too big of a frontline. Seraph, one of the last remaining members, a triple kill for Nian, now in a duel. Ooh. But gets tripped by Emperor. The big shutdown means Emperor. Emperor keeps his team's hopes alive. Teammate was so close to locking TDK in. Still very, very difficult. The tanks stacking armor. Thornmail, Frozen Heart, Randu, and Zoman Ninja Tabby for Cali Trolls. Good luck getting through the 430 armor Maokai, but the Equalizer might help this one. Kez the front line, they got Golden Glue! That's a big one! Porpoise running away with explosive charge on him. Smoothie putting the shield up the front line is not going down. Kelly Trolls knocked back in the front line, holding up pretty nicely, but there's a big four-man pulverize from Dota, but there is zero follow-up, which means Dota's on the wrong place, and this one gets picked up. Maybe it's the comeback win here. TDK knock up two kills. Red buff on Emperor. The crowd chanting oh, for him. The flash down. auto, it slows down the here comes Kez, and that's going to be nothing to do for Cali Trolls. He does trade back, though, as Smoothie loses his life. Keep in mind, mid and top still have Super Minions mulling into the base. They could kill the Nexus by themselves, so TDK have to respond, and they will send uh, Seraph to do that. Yeah, this is so intense. Nien is actually attempting. 
from there on, I mean, without the damage from Golden Blue, it's just really difficult for them to stay in. And oh, oh my, my god, god. And it starts caught. with Emperor dying, but a beautiful equalizer buys a lot of time and a lot of damage, but Smoothie will follow his lane mate down. And oh man, a body slam flash in the pickup. Ninja goes down. The inhibitors actually have respawned, so it will take a little bit of time for teammate to make this happen. But 2v5, good luck, TDK. Yeah, and that should be game. Sorry that we weren't we're in a replay when that happened, but things happen in LCS all the time. Teammate, they will have minion waves. There are three dead, no wave clears here. This looks like teammate taking the game. Seraph caught up, pops the Zonia's Kester running around, looks for a golden glue, but can't possibly do enough for himself. That's gonna be the ace. You know what, they don't need the ace, they just need the Nexus. Kaz last man alive, teammate keep the playoff hopes up in 51 minutes. TDK are locked into 10th place. They will be swapping place with the number one challenger team at the end of the year. Wow.